Hey, hey, happy Saturday. So I, before I get into this video, I just wanna say that I put on a cute outfit today and then I looked at the weather and we are back in the Abercrombie sweatshirt because it's gonna be cold. So here we are, I tried. Um, also, happy February. I'm pretty excited about this month. It looks like it's gonna be a pretty fun month. It is also my birthday month, so I am a little excited about that. We'll see if that, this lighting, I keep trying to like lean out of it, but we'll see if that lasts. I tend to kind of fade with excitement the closer that it gets to my birthday, but it should be fun. I'm excited so far and yeah, it's going to be another busy week. So stay tuned. I'll try to get as much footage of it as I can. If not travel video coming soon, which I am also excited about that. So hope you are too. Hello, we're playing pickleball. But we'll show more of that later in this vlog. Right now we're meal prepping. I am just cutting up a bunch of random veggies and we'll either just store it in the fridge for something or put it on a sheet pan and drizzle it with olive oil and just cook it, roast it. I love roasted veggies. I think doing a big batch of that at once is really helpful for um, making meal prep meals easier later in the week and then just adding some protein with it later on, whether that's chicken or beef, fish, whatever you're into. dicing up some carrots which I think carrots are the most annoying thing to cut um how do you cut them is that is it just me or is carrots like stupid to cut um and now we're cutting up an onion I learned how to cut an onion recently and it has made things so much easier I still don't know if I do it completely right but it is a lot easier garlic of course throw in some garlic And then, you know, just throw on some seasoning, garlic powder, again, a must, just pink salt, a must. And then also just meal prepping some roasted potatoes for the week it is always super helpful. I love sweet potatoes, but sometimes I'll mix it up with just some of the regular potatoes. Morning friends, so I was going through some of my old footage today and ran across some during the month that I was trying to be vegan. Um, I was doing it for health reasons, hoping it would make me feel better. In turn, I was the most miserable I have been in a while and I don't think I ever came back on here and said what happened with that. I am not vegan anymore. I think I have made that pretty clear with all of the cooking clips that I've added in, but if you have missed it, no, I'm not vegan and I will tell you why. <laughs> so I'm not vegan because it made me feel awful. Um, I was actually listening to a podcast recently talking about veganism and this woman who was vegan for about seven years is, has recently transitioned back into eating animal products because of just some of the things she was realizing since she started becoming vegan and the reasons why versus now. Um, seven years ago, there wasn't all these different processed options for being vegan. So it was mainly eating just strictly whole foods. And that is one thing that makes you feel better because it does have all the nutrients that you need. However, she was also saying that it gave her a sense of being better than other people because you had to be so strategic about how you ate in order to be feeling good and getting enough protein, etc., And so slowly that has transitioned into not being the case with being vegan because there are so many different processed options. I mean, pretty much anything that you want, you're able to get the vegan alternative for it, which is actually normally made with a lot of crap. And so it would make you not be feeling your best, but also she was realizing that it gave her this like, attitude of being better than other people and focusing so much on what she ate and just having food be such like an intense priority in her life that she's realizing she needs to take a step back because it was causing more harm than good at that point 
And personally, I agree with that. I don't think that food should be the main focus of your life. I think it should help fuel your body to be feeling its best and not be like the center of what you're focused on every day. And it's really easy for me to already feel that because of health things that I've walked through. But adding being vegan just made my body so physically tired. And I was looking at those videos of me during that time and you could just like see in my eyes how sad I was and just how awful I was feeling. And so no, no longer vegan, feeling a lot better, mentally a lot better. And it's been quite the journey, but I'm glad that I did try it. And I'm glad that I didn't keep going with it because I am feeling way better now eating a pretty high animal protein diet. And I know that is something that is a little bit controversial to put on YouTube, especially like nowadays, people might not be as down with eating as much animal products as I do. I know that can offend some people, but I honestly think you have to do what's best for your body and that's what's feeling good for mine. So there's that, but I will say, <laughs> In those videos, there was a beautiful Birds of Paradise right here. It was thriving. It was beautiful. I miss it a lot. Um, it's currently in the garage. <laughs> it looks extremely sad. After those videos, I had repotted it. And that was not the best decision for it because it quickly declined in how it was feeling. So, might have to buy another one because I loved it. It looked so good. So much color. Felt like a jungle in here. I loved it. But I also was thinking about this channel and what I want to be doing with it. I tend to obsess over certain things and do the same things over and over and over for a couple months and then switch to the next thing. And you can see that in my channel and it's content. So I'm just trying to think through and be creative and give you different content so it's not the same thing every week, even though I am doing pretty much the same things every week. Um, because it's what I enjoy doing right now, but I want to make it interesting for you and interesting also for me to look back on later. So this weekend I'm going on a trip, which means travel content coming soon. And I'm really excited about it because it's gonna be a fun trip. It's gonna be chill, a lot of fun things though. And I'm excited it's gonna be my birthday weekend. <laughs> Sorry, it sounded like someone's coming in. It's gonna be my birthday weekend. So it's gonna be a lot of fun and and the next week is going to be crazy also. I have a lot of fun things planned. So hopefully I can get footage of it. I don't know. It's hard to film when I'm with other people, but I will do my best. And also comment below if you have any video ideas of anything you'd like to see. I'd be happy to play around and do something different. So let's get back into the vlog. Happy Sunday. Here you go. <laughs> Have you seen the thing about like fix or guys and them chasing a punk ball? Yeah. <laughs>